Okay, today's GIS video is about the Texas Central Railway, which is a high-speed train project exclusively for passengers that is uh, projected to be uh, online in around 2017. And essentially there are three parties involved in this project. Texas Central Railway, which is a private company, TxDOT, which is the Texas Department of Transportation, and the FRA, the Federal Railroad Administration. So I have contacted all of the entities that are involved in this project. I sent an email probably about nine months ago uh, to the TCR, Texas Central Rail, and they never responded back with any type of, uh, just no response at all. So I finally received one back from them. I am basically asking them for the GIS data, the individual line point data that can be uploaded into a GIS program and spatial analysis can be uh, done on the actual data. Uh, and you can do that in conjunction with existing rail lines, you can do it with parcel lines, property lines, uh, county lines, rivers, the whole gamut of uh, spatial analysis can be conducted once uh, the actual railway lines are uh, produced in a GIS file format. So anyway, I emailed them and asked them about getting the shape files so I could use them in my GIS program. And they responded back, and this is the private company, uh, TCR, Texas Central Rail. Mr. Matthews, thank you for your note. We appreciate your interest in our project. But we are not able to share the GIS data related to our project at this time. As you likely know, we are in the middle of a federal environmental review process so a final alignment has yet to be identified. Further, because uh, we are in the process, we are not permitted to share maps with parties other than the public agencies involved in preparing the environmental documents at this time. I have copied my colleague Jason Chris, who is better prepared to answer more technical questions should you have them. I hope this helps. Thank you again for your interest in your inquiry. So I also sent a uh, email to uh, the Federal Rail, Rail Administration uh, inquiring about getting the same GIS data from them. And the response was, thank you for reaching out to the FRA. The FRA does not have GIS data for the proposed Dallas-Houston high-speed rail project. The information we have available can be found at the following website. And basically it contains all sorts of links and just about a bunch of information except for the GIS data, which is what I'm uh, actually inquiring about. And he sent me back an email saying if I had additional questions to call him. So I actually contacted him today and they still don't have any data the GIS data that I'm looking for. They're in the first stages of the environmental review and that in order to do an environmental review you have to know where the actual proposed rail lines that the company TCR is proposing for you to do an environmental survey on. So it doesn't really make sense that they don't have the data whether or not they want to provide it to the general public at this time, they're simply just not providing it. And the last email that I sent was to TxDOT, the Texas Department of Transportation, and I had made the same query uh, or inquiry about the data, uh, the GIS data for the high-speed rail, and they responded back, Mr. Matthews, TxDOT does not have GIS files for the study, 
this as an FRA study in TxDOT's role is to assist the FRA with a review of the environmental documents so we only see the draft documents and not all of the data used to develop the documents. And he emailed me back uh, again and suggested that I contact the FRA, which I've already done that, and they responded back that they don't have the data either. But they also have a, uh, they've just added this, the documents, maps, and image. It's actually a map, but it's a PDF document that has multiple pages, and it has it has a higher level of detail than the previous maps that the TCR provided, but it still doesn't provide the GIS data, which is basically what I requested in the first place. Okay, so what I did is I went and started Google Maps in my browser, and what my objective was was to find the existing rail line that travels along 290 and then try to find uh, the electrical corridor where the large towers that transport electricity did was left click and I asked what's here and it tells me the exact coordinates for this particular point. So I just copied that and I pasted it into a text file and I continued that process all the way up out through Harris County, through Montgomery County, and then I ended at Highway 30 because I basically got to 190 individual points. Then what I did is I imported that into QGIS and created a line for each individual, uh, connecting each individual point. Okay, so here is the list of the latitude and longitudes for each tower uh, that were collected from Google Maps. I think I originally stated it was 190. I got to 215 uh, lines, which means there's 215 lats and longs for the points collected. Now I wanted to show this close up. This is uh, right past 290 in Waller County, and if the proposed line is is going to go right in this area and if you look really closely and I'm going to try to measure the distance here measure the distance from here to where the power line ends it's 102.56 feet so they're going to have to have 80 feet on this side or 80 feet on this side. Okay, so what I did is I took the existing rail lines for BNSF and the Union Pacific Railroad lines and I imported that data into my database and I took the Harris County Appraisal District parcel data and laid that on top of the railway lines and I conducted a, a query that is a buffer which gives 80 feet on either side of the existing railway. And then I said give me all of the parcels that that buffer would include. I can go ahead and turn on the uh, roadway so you can get a better picture. I'm going to go to this layer and I'm going to say what is the count 
for this particular feature. And just in Harris County, uh, this is the 290 Union Pacific Railroad route that has been proposed for the high-speed rail system. And there are a total of 978 individual parcels or properties that will be affected by this uh, high-speed rail system. I'm going to show you that attribute table. And of course it shows the owner's name, their address, and the assessed value, and all of the other attributes that are in the Harris County Appraisal District's data. There's also, of course, the BNSF route, which is not off the table at this point either. And here is the count for the BNSF route, which is substantially more. 13,322 Harris County landowners could be affected. Obviously, it depends on which side of the existing railway that they choose to put it on. Now here is the BNSF route where it ends in Harris County and begins in Montgomery County. And I did a count of the parcels that will be affected by that. In Montgomery County it is 716 property owners. Now even though both the BNSF route, which is this one, and the utility corridor, which is this one, are both still on the table. I'm going to make a prediction that they utilize the utility corridor route just because of the cost associated with building a high-speed rail system through.